For more on East Asia's biggest movie complex, the Qindao Movie Metropolis, I'm joined from Hong Kong by cultural critic Vivian Chow. She is an award-winning journalist who specializes in arts and cultural politics. Thank you so much for joining me today, Vivian. Now, how important is it to have a complex that could possibly rival Hollywood in East Asia? I think this is really is 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 a very symbolic move for um, China to have such a complex. Um, it's it's not just another studio that we are talking about, but it's a huge studio that that runs um, 166 hectares and it has um, 30 more than 30 sound stages already up and running, and also a, a bunch of facilities that will facilitate the filming of um, uh, shooting and also the crew and also all, all the post post production facilities. So it's extremely important. Um, to have such kind of facilities available here in Asia, and to whether this, but then whether this studio um, is going to take off as um, a, as a major rival to Hollywood, it really depends on what kind of productions will take place here at this um, particular studio. Well, the executive CEO of the studio has said that they're fully booked through the second half of 2018. And earlier you said that they are offering a huge soundstage. What are some other services that they're offering to movie makers at this complex? Um, I think one of the huge attractions um, with this um, studio complex is the rebate system. So basically, um, if you um, have your films um, produced there, then um, there is this um, government-supported rebate system that allows film producers to get a rebate from the government fund, and um, it can go up to at least, uh, it can go up to 40% of the production cost. So say for example, um, The Great Wall, um, that was directed by Zhang Yimou and it starred um, Matt Damon and Lau. So it had um, 60 million yuan uh, rebate um, going back to the production, and then the next one will be a Pacific Rim. Um, so that is actually a huge attraction for any production, not just locally, but also from abroad, to, have the production taking place at that massive mega studio. Well, it seems like this complex has been created for more bigger productions. But will smaller production companies or let's say indie filmmakers have a chance to use the movie Metropolis as well? I think the studios will be open to all um, as long as they can pay for the services. But um, usually for um, productions that can afford using this kind of this kind of facilities would usually be big productions, like blockbuster type of productions. Um, for indie productions, um, I'm sure they would be open to that as long as well it helped the business. But then the truth is, uh, do indie productions really need such kind of facilities? Because a lot of independent films, uh, it's not just about the budget, but they don't really need to build a set. They might be, um, they, will, they will probably be in, uh, more on location shooting involved or they would um, do, uh, they, they would have like um, a, a smaller scale of kind of um, set um, design instead of a mega um, set um, that needs to be built. So they might not need it. But then this, um, um, the Wanda Studios also offer post-production facilities, which could be beneficial to small production when they need to um, get their films um, during the post-production stage or, um, um, to adjust the color tone of the of, of the um, of the images and also maybe sound mixing. So there could be some other facilities that would be beneficial to smaller independent production. Cultural critic Vivian Chow, thank you so much for joining me there from Hong Kong.